Hi everyone, welcome back to Broomies Garage. This is our 1993 FD RX7 and it has a huge 88 millimeter Garrett turbo on it, a tiny little 13B rotary. So we need to hit this thing with some nitrous to get it up on the trans brake. What kind of difference will it make in spool times? Well, let's find out. So a little bit about this car and the reason why we definitely need to run nitrous on it. It is, as I said, 88 millimeter turbo, which is really large. It does run methanol fuel, which helps it a little bit. However, the tiny little 13B rotary uh, doesn't make torque to much higher up in the RPM range. Couple that with a turbo 400 auto uh, and a converter that's been specced on the tighter side, specifically uh, as ordered by us like that, because we want to run really fast in this car. It's for drag racing and a tighter converter means it will drive much better and hook up at higher RPM, which means you'll actually run faster and quicker over the quarter mile, which that's what it's all about, isn't it, drag racing? So uh, with that combination, we knew we we're gonna have to run nitrous. We tried without the nitrous at the racetrack and uh, it, didn't, it didn't work out because the racetrack that we race at, the air is very poor. Uh, so it's something that you may encounter too, where you've raced at some tracks and it may work and other tracks it doesn't. And that could be one of the factors. Uh, so to, the reason we're doing this and the reason why you may want to do this is because you want greater consistency, you don't want to be on the trans brake for too long, uh, and also maybe you might be bracket racing or something. And in that case, you know, if you've got to be really quick on the light, you've got to really build that boost quick, nitrous is clearly uh, the way to do it. So let's take a look at this video now of this uh, setup with no nitrous on at all. Right, so there you go. Basically 14 seconds to go from when I went to 100% throttle. Actually, it's probably even a little bit more than that. My data log didn't uh, start, starts at about 2800 RPM and I was on the throttle before that. So it's, it's around 14 to 15 seconds sort of on the trans brake, which is way too long when you've got heaps of heat in the transmission. You'll cook components in no time doing that. So uh, that's no nitrous, uh, no dump valves either, mind you. Um, now let's try it with a little baby 35 horsepower shot and let's see the difference. Right, so there you go. It's incredible a difference, isn't it? So that was about six, sec six or seven seconds uh, so roughly half or even less than half the time to bring this thing up on uh, to the two-step. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm blown away the difference it's made. That's only a tiny little 35 horsepower shot. It's literally the least amount of nitrous I can feed in this. Now, a couple other things to consider here too. Uh, I only had the bottle pressure on about 500 PSI. It should be around 900. Uh, and yeah, and the tune-up was, was fairly uh, a, a bit richer, the EFI side of it. So, you know, that's going to be even quicker um, just on the 35 horsepower shot. What I'm going to do with the track is I'm going to put the 50 horsepower jets in it and I'm going to see how it goes in the much worse air at, uh, at Heathcote Park Raceway. But there you go. Anyone out there who's looking to bracket race the car, looking to make a difference on the start line, or you're looking to go to different tracks where the air might not be good, elevation might be higher, uh, nitrous is your friend. Don't worry about maybe some of the little bit of extra weight uh, that you have to carry in the car. It's completely offset by the fact that you've got throttle in a bottle here. Um, this this um, kit here from, from Nitrous Outlet uh, was really great. Everything uh, worked really well. The jets and the little jet card that come with um, were absolutely spot on in terms of what needed to happen for the tune-up. So uh, everything on this kit's made super easy. Um, yeah, and hopefully next time we're out the track, we'll see the, uh, the real difference because that Heathcote at the track, it took something like 18 seconds to come up from the trans brake. So hopefully if we can get that to sub five, uh, we'll be on song. But 
Just a quick video now showing the difference between nitrous and no nitrous and why you should definitely be looking to a nitrous outlet kit to uh, add to your roast program. Until next time, thanks for watching.